Hi, this is Fred from the Dive Syntax and English in Color. Usually I produce um, well more advanced videos for my Joy of Syntax uh, playlist, but today I thought I sh I'll share something fairly simple because it often causes problems even for native speakers. And it's particularly interesting for people that are learners of English. So I'll share my screen immediately and I'll get right to it. Hang on a second. There are some things that I need to get out of the way first. Okay, this is a problem that you need to solve. Here we have a defining AK restrictive relative clause, and that is a relative pronoun. Um, it could be replaced by which? Uh, some people feel that in restrictive relative clauses you should use that. Um, but the main point is a restrictive relative clause is not separated from the noun that it modifies by a comma. Um, in German, that's different. So just in case you know German, I put the German underneath there, but I'll focus on the English now. So this is a problem that you need to solve. No comma, and that is a relative pronoun. Now, the interesting thing is that here, the relative pronoun is the object of the relative clause. You need to solve the problem, would be this um, clause as a main clause. You need to solve that problem. If we want to replace the problem by a pronoun, we say you need to uh, replace, uh, you need to solve it. And then if we um, use that as a relative clause, then we pull out the object and replace it by the relative pronoun. And that then has both um, the function of a clause constituent or clause element, namely the object, but it, it has to be placed in front of the clause because it attaches to the noun that it modifies, aka the problem. So this is a problem that you need to solve. A restricted relative clause introduced by the pronoun, the relative pronoun that. Compare that with the conjunction that, which introduces a subclass that functions as nominal clause or noun clause or a substantive clause. Nominal clauses are subclasses that can either function as class elements or as modifiers. In this case, you see that um, th that class is a modifier of the noun chance. So there's a chance that it might rain. How can we distinguish between the relative pronoun and the conjunction that? Well, for one thing, um, we couldn't substitute which. In this case, we couldn't say there is a chance which it might rain. <laughs> Nobody would do that. Um, also, you see that it might rain is a complete clause in, in a way. Um, that is not a class element in that, in that class. It simply is a conjunction that's placed in front of the, the class in order to indicate that it is a subclass. Okay, so here is another example on the next slide. Um, I wanted to give you a relative clause in which the relative pronoun is the subject of the relative clause. This is the key that opens the garage. Um, that here is the relative pronoun replacing key. So uh, we could say this is a key, it opens the garage. This key opens the garage. So we see that the relative pronoun that um, functions as subject of the relative clause. Again, we have a restrictive relative clause. So in English, there is no comma. And if you're interested in, um, in hearing about the German sentences, I'll do that in another video. Here, I just focused on the English, on the difference between a that clause and a relative clause that's introduced by the uh, relative pronoun that. Okay, that's it for today. Um, if you have any more questions about this, just pop them into the, disc uh, into the comment section and I will do my best to answer them. Have a lovely day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.